then we want shoot timer minus equals time dot delta time I'll explain this afterward when I finish um, writing it down and the next one we need is if open bracket shoot timer is less than zero it's going to be equal to zero open bracket close curly bracket curly brace sorry then shoot timer equals zero now the reason I want the shoot timer is if you go back into unity I've set the shoot cooler at 0 0.9 and what happens is when I press the F key the shoot timer is gonna uh, increase to 0 0.9 and then when it does this part of the script takes action and it's gonna minus it back down until it equals 0 and when it's equal to 0 we can shoot again so it gives that little kind of delay so the audio won't get screwed up in between and let's do that next I want to say if we press the input key we'll say if shoot timer shoot timer is equals equal equals to zero then we want the audio to play and then we want the rate to shoot And then let's start. Then we need to tell the shoot timer to start cooling down. So shoot timer equals shoot cooler. There we go. And that has completely resolved our audio problem as well. So let it update. Go back into YouTube, run our game. If you press F this time and hold it down, and if you notice this time it's get key, it's not down. See, it's taking a 0 0.9 second and giving the audio just a couple of seconds to not overlap. So, yeah, that resolves the audio problem, and that is how you do the basic way of making a gun shoot before we do finish it off I'm just gonna add some animations to this this gun comes with a reload ideal and um, a shoot animation if I just look for the gun if I can find it um, M19 there we go now if I go into its properties it has idle shoot and a reload now I want to go to the gun itself it's got them attached the shoot the reload and I'm going to start calling these into my script so let's do that next on top of the var hit type in game object dot find dot find yeah open bracket go back into your game view copy this gun name or whatever your guns called I'm not gonna bother type this down it's a bit too long I'm gonna paste down here as a string close bracket dot animation dot play open bracket and what animation are we playing on the certain object and we're gonna play the shoot We want to copy the exact same line and we want to do the same for the reload underneath the play reload audio paste the following line and just rename this to your reload animation save it let unity update it quickly and this time if I press the F key it's gonna play my shoot animation there we go let me just um, 
minus the bullets down a bit too much so I can show you reload and um, it's gonna leave us two bullets so if I shoot and reload if I press Oh, it's lagging. Um, clips are ten. I'm not sure if I'm the only one seeing that, but I think I noticed a problem. Is one. And I'm gonna put the bullet bird clip one as well. It reloads. That's fine. Ah. Let's just quickly sort that out. If I'm pressing the F key while it's reloading, it interferes with the animation. I'm gonna stop that. Okay, let's go back and more develop. Uh, okay, the reason that even though it's reloading and we press the F key, it keeps shooting, is because there's nothing checking if we have bullets left in our clip, in our input dot get key. So we need to put and and bullets left. So basically saying if we press our input dot get key F. We have to make sure that there is bullets in our bullet bullets left. If there isn't, it's not going to take any action. And when it reloads, it's going to add back 60 to our bullets. And that's when it says to the input dot get key dot f that hey, there's bullets in our bullets left variable, so you can shoot again. So if you save this, back into Unity, and that should stop the keep firing error even though you had no bullets in your clip so as you can see I just set the bullets per clip as one I could run it and shoot okay, I'm pressing F nothing happens there we go now I wanted to explain why reload time I said it's 3.3 now the animation that this gun has it takes about 3.3 .3 seconds to complete and if I set it as three point just free, it's gonna give me ammo much more quicker than the reload animation itself. So if I press F, just watch the animation is gonna be still playing while I get ammo available in my bullet variable. So if I press F, there you go. You see, before the last click, I had ammo appeared in my variable. So three point three solves that it's just basically how long your animation is and you can just tweak it to ma uh, match yours as well and yes we've completed the basic version and with some animations now before i do say anymore the now the animations i'm not going to keep it like this uh i'm going to be calling animations from another script basically it's going to that's because it's going to help me with ai later on and all the enemies are going to use the same animation as the main character like shoot animation and etc and I'm just gonna call it all from one script rather than keep writing dot game or just find or play this animation etc it's all gonna be done in one script and yeah that's the basic way of making our gun shoot and what I have planned later on is I'll explain this in game as you can see the distance from our object from here is quite far oh well it's really lagging for some reason doesn't matter uh, anyways yes as you can see these kind of objects are closer goodness let me just maximize the screen as you can see these kind of screens are, uh, sorry these kind of objects are closer I can shoot them from here and etc objects like these are a bit too far and I don't want my raycast to reach that far it's gonna give you perfect shooting so what we're gonna do is later on we're gonna check 
our distance with another array cost and if we're very far we're going to start shooting up projectiles and that's going to be really hard for accuracy as well because projectiles will drop after a certain distance and it's going to be much more realistic but other than that yeah that's it thank you for watching guys